Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Welcome again to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install this awesome application for your Google TV device, Android device, Sony TV, Philips TV, etc. etc. Before we get started, I would like to inform you this video is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only. It's specifically a showcase on how to download this easily. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the search section. I am using a Google TV Chromecast 4K, but again, you can use it on any Android based device. We are going to search for this name right here. Just type it over as I do. Uh, let me try and hit search. Maybe we'll come results up. for Tivum. Yes, it's popping up. Let's hit OK and let's hit install. It is that easy. And let's open it up. We're going to go to settings and we're going to allow it right here. We're going to go back and then we can uh, add the playlist. But before we do that, I highly recommend everyone to go ahead and unlock this uh, by getting a one time subscription. You can just do it by uh, hitting next and you'll see here the the purchase one-time payment for for 34 euro depending on where you are it's very cheap it's one time for five accounts you can just sign up here if you have a google device you can just sign up make the account and pay right away it's very easy uh, or you need a android phone and you need to download this application and companion behind it and it's that easy so i'm gonna log in with my account so after you've logged in and you've had the opportunity to already have five devices you can choose to replace one so as you can see i already have them and uh that being said when you purchase this application premium that one-time payment for lifetime is valid for five devices so if you have five devices at home like me you can use it on five you only have to pay once okay then we're going to click on the device i'm replacing for now and we're going to hit activate after you've done that, you will read congratulations. So let's go ahead and hit OK. After that, you will be taking this menu right here. We haven't added a playlist yet, and we've also logged in this. Keep in mind, you can use this, all this, without uh, getting the premium, uh, purchasing the premium within the Google Play Store. But there is a current issue within the app uh, I need to address. You need to go to general and you need to go down and you need to set something right here because it's not working. Uh, so for anyone that's not purchasing uh, premium right now, it, it can still work if you add the playlist right there. As you can see, you can add it right away and it will work. Um, but right now it's not. So there's been an update within this application that makes it not work. So we're gonna change that. Uh, keep in mind, you don't. you can test it out first, just adding the playlist. Um, if it's not working and error comes, then you need to change this in user agent. If it's that easy, then it will work. Then I would like to have auto start app on boot and auto start app on wake up. Turn on the last one on app start. Confirm exit by hitting uh, by second press back. You can choose that. So there's a lot of things you can change in this. It is unbelievable. More to that later. Let's go ahead and add something. Here you can add the list that you want and you have these three options. So you can either receive a whole link HTTP and then you fill it there in and you hit next, next, and it will be added. Okay, that's option number two. Option number two, uh, that was option number one. Option number two is where you add a uh, code, an extreme code. And that is based on a URL that you're receiving, just .com. Yeah, it's ending with .com. Uh, HTTP .com with a name between. And then you will receive a username and a password. That's where you fill in these details, okay? 
And this one, I don't know, unfortunately. But so these two I use most often. And the URL, the M3 URL, that's a long one. It's the URL, so .com. And then behind it, you'll see username, password, all in one link instead of separated on how you receive it. So that's the difference between those two. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about regarding getting a playlist, uh, if you want any advice at that, I highly recommend you joining my Discord server. So let's go back to settings. I am not actually going to try and do something here. Um, let's see what what are the things that we can do here. We can within the settings playlist we can easily update everything, but we can also add extra playlists. So if you have already a playlist, you can add another one. So you have two. Let's go to EPG, which is also so necessary. So many problems people have with this. It all depends on the provider. That's the only thing it depends on. If it's not working for you, uh, let me know. So you can choose update on app start. That means whenever you open up the app, it will update it automatically. Update on all playlist changes. That means whenever something changes within the playlist, it will update it too. If you want to keep this on, you can have it on. Usually I don't need to update on every app start. I use it every 24 hours. That's standard. That's pretty good. I like to keep only seven days, but if you don't have that much space or you're never looking back seven days in time, because with the right provider, you can actually uh, watch back the whatever, the content, uh, depends on the provider. So a source, let's say sometimes a provider will give you a source. Again, you go to settings, EPG, EPG sources, and then you will add source. That means, what that means for you is that you receive two links, two links, one for EPG and one for the content itself. Here you can fill in the EPG link. That's how easy that is. Let's go to appearance. Appearance. Here you can change the language, but also the size. You can change the color, the interface. Well, I want, no, I want 90%. It's not changing yet because we're not. We don't have a playlist yet. That's why. So that I cannot show you right now, I guess, unfortunately. Uh, but that's that's okay. Let's go to the next section. So here we can change the buffer size. Uh, I tend to have it uh, very large. So that mean that being said, when you change to a different number in the playlist it will take maybe a bit longer to to play if your fa internet is fast enough you can just keep it at medium if you have a slower internet keep it at very large it will make you start slowly but it won't stop the whole time and audio decoder i'll leave it at hardware same goes with this um if your audio is not working you can try and do this audio pass through yes what is this I don't know. So these settings I'm not so familiar with. You can use an external player. So I guess that's for the sound. Uh, what else? What is very interesting? You can switch in here, but you can also save recordings. Here's where it will be saved. You can change the folder path. If you want i think uh that's about it uh, i've done the most important things yeah what what is maybe better is is when you have a playlist yeah right here this one this is like this is the number thing i always do i go to here sorting and manual and then i click on reorder and right here there's nothing there's no categories but right here you can reorder everything so the countries you want your favorite country above, uh, the ones that you don't want, you don't want, uh, you want them all the way down, whatever. Here is where you reorder it. If you go back, underneath here, you will see which ones you want to check on or off because there's a long list. I don't want everything to be on. You just uncheck everything and you just swipe the ones that you want on. So for instance, if you have like 100, which is sometimes common, you don't want to scroll down a list of 100 categories, just the categories, huh? So here you uncheck everything and you'll just check the ones that you want. So for instance, for me, 20. No, that's 
everything because some things are even categorized into different categorizations. So that's <laughs> that's about it. Uh, I hope I explained it good and well. Further than this, I can't go. Fortunately, I'm sorry for that. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. Some feedback is also welcome. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.